and then we we looked at different markers from these different cell lots, and we found that these ones that the highly highly efficacious cells, these golden cells, had markers that we could identify them early on in the culture process that were exceedingly different from both what I call the silver cells and the bronze cells. At that point, we started screening all all donations for, we would start a primary culture and then we would screen them for this these markers and we would be able to determine whether or not they were going to be useful. And we wound up throwing away many, many cords. As another cord, why should we even use it? And so these these are renamed them golden cells for lack of a better term. And uh, we've been using them ever since. And I think our results have our results improved dramatically. We you know, one of the things we do is we have a patient registry of everybody we've ever treated, we follow them up. Uh, so we have an extraordinary amount of data um on, you know, historical data on uh on our, our patients, and we record every side effect, um, and uh, it's a it's an enormous database of people with different conditions have been treated over the years.